Hey, this is Brimstone. You're watching AFK away from the keyboard. Ain't no better place to be than right here watching now. This is a live show, so, by the way. Yeah. So are there pigeons out there? <laughs> There's a few pigeons. Um, on the count of three, make a pigeon sound, OK? And can, think of a pigeon, all right? Ready? I'm watching everybody. <laughs> so it's, you're going to be in my movie next. Okay. I want a stool pigeon. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. How was that? That was pretty good, no? No, I, I thought that sounded more like an owl. <laughs> uh, let me pick some specific. This group down here, all right? Give me some real pigeons. Let's see what you're like, OK? Oh, come on. It's Comic-Con. Make it happen. OK, stand up and face the audience. And on the, all of you, that whole bunch, and the guys right there. The first. Oh, woo! All right, Austin Comic Con. Okay, on the count of three, I want a stool pigeon sound. <laughs> no, I got this. I got this. I got you got this? I got it. Stool but you're not, you're not alone. Okay, you'll do alone first. What a ham. <laughs> you want center stage by yourself. Okay, on the count, you alone then, all right? Okay, one, two, three. That's How good. That? That's good. That's good. Yeah. You're fired. <laughs> no, I want to hear a real uh, cool or something, all right? Why are you so anxious to sit down? Are you bashful or something? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Okay, sit down, sit down. This bunch over here, including the shy girl with her hand on her mouth, stand up and face the audience, yeah? All of you. And face the audience, too. The, the winners get to go to Vegas. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. Think now of a pigeon. <clears throat> ready? One, two, three. <laughs> okay. Let's see who's the. Oops. Uh, may I have this microphone out of here? Yes. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'll, 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 uh, I'll raise my hand over here and you applaud and then we'll see who's the winners, okay? <laughs> this one, all right, this one. Come by my booth, I'll sign a small card for you, okay? Wow. Okay, let's see now. <clears throat> Does that sound like a pigeon? Yeah. I'm still looking for the girl with the green eyes. Yeah. And when I find her, I shall marry her. Yes. Ching Tai. <laughs> Let me have some of your blood. <laughs> and what, oh, thank you. Thank you. Look what I got. Look what I got for a prize. It's not much of a prize, is it? But these are. These are good. They won't poison you this time, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
go to Vegas, right? That's right. A little, a little shaking of the die. Oh no. Okay, uh, let's uh, have the questions. Then. Okay, question time, sir. Go ahead. Hi, I was just wondering, how did you land the role of covetous Shin in Diablo Three? Did you? Uh, how did you land the role of, of Shin in Diablo Three? How did you land the role in Diablo Three, the the voice acting role? Yeah, covetous Shin. How did I handle it? How did you get it? Yeah. Could you open it? I sure can. See, give her a hand for opening it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, well, I don't know uh, uh, who knows, who has played or know of Diablo 3. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, covetous Shen. I just went to the Diablo uh, Blizzard uh, convention. I couldn't believe how many people play that game. It's mind boggling. I mean, they had a whole. Were you there? I was not there that last time, no. Yeah. Who has been to the uh, Blizzard? I've been there before. One, yeah. two, or. Yeah. Well, it costs what? One hundred and fifty. What is this thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's like me this morning. <laughs> this is so no, for real. <laughs> this is no doubt made in Austin. I'm sorry, made in China. <laughs> yeah, it's full of lead. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I got this. This one's made in Austin. It stays up forever. So, uh, getting back to Diablo 3, uh, Covetous, a uh, very, very good character, don't you think? Oh, yeah, I loved it. Yeah. Who, who thought I was the best one in the game? <laughs> Could you pour me some more water here? Uh, why don't you have any wine? I don't know. I wish Let's that stop. they, I asked for vodka this morning and they said no. Yeah. I guess you don't Excuses. serve until noon. Excuses. I know. <laughs> I was shocked. So did you, uh, did you win in the game? Uh, for certain degrees of winning, yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what did you like about my character, uh, Covetous? Uh, he just, he kept going and going and going. He just keeps rambling, and then it's like, oh, even though he keeps going, I still can't get enough of him. He just, he goes on and on and on. I love him. So do you think I'm the master or an immortal? You know, I, I actually think you'll probably come back as a villain in one of the later things. That's my guess. Yeah. Well, if you're going to find out, you're going to have to buy the expansion. Oh, all right. Good deal. I'm in that also. And it's a lot of fun doing that, you know, um, uh, all through all those leading other players to various places and, and, and telling the stories along the way. Um, the, uh, you know, Covet has always had a story to tell as he led the th players throughout the journey. Anyway, those who, who haven't uh, uh, played it, you don't know what I'm talking about, so I don't really care. <laughs> so other than that, uh, uh, thank you. I, I hope you keep playing it, and uh, I enjoy making it. And Blizzard's uh, are, are wonderful people to work for. Uh, I guess they make more money from that game than the biggest movie ever, huh? Uh, they make an awful I can't hear you. Can you talk? Oh, they make an awful lot of money, it sure seems like. Yeah. But you enjoy the game. That's the main thing. Oh, yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks Thank very you. much. Uh, sir, um, I'm sorry, your time is up. Okay. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> uh, my question was, uh, how did you enjoy working for Disney on Mulan, and uh, would you ever work for Disney again? More voice, voice acting, or would you rather have a, like a live action role? Did you uh, enjoy? Could you say that in Chinese? I couldn't understand it. <laughs> what did you say? Did you enjoy working for Disney when you were working on Mulan, and would you do oh, it again? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and also, uh, what is that one? Um, Kung Fu which Panda. other one? Uh, uh, um, uh, t um, uh, that other Disney thing. I, I, um, the, the kids game. Do you, do you watch those kids movies? Um, what is that one that I have one picture of? Uh, do you remember? Kung Fu Panda? 
Comp uh, Disney? Yeah, uh, no, that's that DreamWorks. Oh, man. I stink. Uh, Disney, um, Ant Farm. Is that Disney? Oh, Ant Farm. How many ever watch Ant Farm? Well, that was great. <laughs> Whoa! I can't believe it. Did you enjoy that episode I was in where I was in the fortune cookie uh, factory and the Ant Farm people come to visit me? That was great, yeah. Mm -hmm. We had a million uh, fortune cookies on that episode. It was, it was fun. Those kids are really talented. You know, that's one thing about uh, uh, Deviate a Second for Disney uh, uh, actor and actresses. Uh, it, they've been with the show for so long, like Ant Farm, I don't know how many years, and, and they're able to just switch dialogue like that, or if the director gives them a direction and switch it in the last minute, they're able to pick it right up and go on as if it was rehearsed that way. But actually, most of the scenes that you see on Seinfeld or uh, uh, whatever the, the TV series uh, I've been on, um, they're constantly changing the lines up to the last minute. And, and uh, the, the regulars, of course, they know each other, you know? But I being just a... Um, <coughs> can you ask your question again? <laughs> what was your question again? It was... Um, I want did, him to ask Okay, it, so sorry. And, and talk loudly and distinctly a lesson in acting, all right? all right? How did you enjoy working in Disney or in Mulan? And then would you ever do it again? It's better. <clears throat> Well, Mulan was a, <coughs> excuse me, down the wrong pipe. <clears throat> the graphics, how many have seen Mulan? Oh, again, I can't believe how many people, you must be glued to the television and the screen. <laughs> <coughs> I was amazed how good the graphics were in Mulan. And I'm very sorry that there wasn't a sequel. <coughs> so sometimes the best of um, animation don't get a sequel. And even Big Trouble, there's no sequel, there's not animation, but you know, and, and Blade Runner, the one I was in. Um, no sequel, can you understand that? Wh no why sequel. do you think so? <coughs> no sequel? I don't, I think it's, Mulan did get a sequel, uh, but it was, it Mulan was not, did get a sequel? but not, not on the big screen. It went right to video, <laughs> I think. Yeah? <laughs> Who was playing my part? Can you tell me what the story is? Somebody give him a, can you come up to the microphone and tell us what the sequel to Mulan was? Yeah, you know the story. Yeah. You know. I didn't see it. I'm sure I didn't see it. I, I didn't see it either because you weren't in it. <laughs> I know that. No James Hong, no, no you. I won't do it. But what was the story? i kind of like to know. I didn't see it. I think it was about Mulan um, and the warriors from the first movie protecting these three princesses, I think. I, it's been a while since I've seen it. Wow. Uh, I think that was it. I don't really remember He much. said that it was about Mulan and the other warriors protecting three princesses. Yeah, that's, a, that's it. It's so, as memorable it, as you. So. Was it any good? It's worth watching once or twice, but not as good as the first one because you're in it. Without you, it wasn't any good. Who stole my slippers? Somebody stole my slippers! You know, you do a great voice for them and they don't appreciate to call you back. That's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll do a couple of voices then. Do you, would you like to hear them? Yes. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> what are you doing? Guards, watch him. <laughs> He's advancing. <clears throat> Paul, Paul, what are you doing upstairs, Paul? Come on downstairs. There's a lot of people who want noodles. <laughs> Paul, you can't, can't play kung fu all the time. <clears throat> you got to cook soup. The secret ingredient is with my soup. You have to learn that, Paul. You can't be going up and being the warrior master or whatever it is anyway. So now I'm making Kung Fu Panda 3. Be sure to look when it comes, all right? Uh, let's see what else is, um, okay. Um, Cartwright, Cartwright, telephone for Cartwright. Seinfeld for Cartwright. You know answer, so I hang up. <laughs> Let's see, uh, what else? Um, uh, more of a uh, big trouble, then, let's see. 
Will you do Balls of Fury for us? Qui Gon, will you do Balls of Fury? Yeah, Balls of Fury, okay. <clears throat> Remember, you suck when you are nervous. <laughs> That's such a truism, isn't it? <laughs> I guess you all know what that means. <laughs> isn't it funny when you're nervous, you really don't know what you're doing at all. Everything just gets all bottled up. It's the same brain, but something happens and goes, well, uh, uh, uh. it's like when your boyfriend wants to make out with you, they don't know what to say, right? <laughs> Was that funny or not funny? <laughs> Stand up and let people look at you. Stand up. Face the audience. Go ahead. Isn't she beautiful? <laughs> oh, thank you. What, what uh, nationality are you, uh, Thai or Vietnamese? Or Vietnamese? Vietnamese, yes. Thank you, yeah. Uh, I, is there, I'm, I'm wondering, um, uh, I haven't seen any Vietnamese restaurants in Austin. Are, are there a lot of them? Are, are there a lot of uh, the uh, Vietnamese people here? What? She's not from Austin. Where are you from? She's from Houston. So she doesn't know if there's a lot of Vietnamese people. She's not from here. Really? <laughs> what does a Houston person look like? <laughs> oh, is that you? you? Are you from Houston? And you are, let's see, can you stand up? Let's see. <laughs> no, they're really aliens, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Who's from Houston, actually? Wow. Quite a few. So did you come up just for this uh, uh, convention? Yes or no? Yeah, I see a lot of people nodding, wow. Uh, thank you for coming. So stop by my booth, so don't let me be too lonely there, okay? <laughs> uh, yes? Uh, well, sir, it, it's you know, really great to see you. I've seen you in a lot of my favorite works. Uh, I loved you in MacGyver. You know, seeing you there with Richard Dean Anderson was great. And uh, in one of the recent, kind of recent, Sleeping Dogs, you played uh, the leader of the bad guys, basically, even though we all sympathize with your character because you're still that awesome. Um, uh, what I really wanted to ask you was, uh, based on, you know, your kind of, uh, you know, gangster type characters. Well, stop there, Ken. What is he saying so far? So far, here's what he's saying. He loved you in MacGyver. MacGyver? That's in Canada I made that, by the way. He also said he loved you as a leader in what was it? Sleeping Dogs. In Sleeping Dogs. I don't remember that movie, huh? The video game. Oh, oh video the video game. game. Of the, oh, yeah. uh, I believe you were the leader that, of one How of long ago was that? 2010, wow. I believe. Wow. 2010, he said. Wow. Oh. Um, and then the question? <laughs> the question was, uh, you know, based on the type of, uh, you know, uh, gangster characters as kind of thing, uh, referring back based to... Based on... Just stop. <laughs> no, no, sorry, I'm nervous. No, sorry, sorry. What based on your gangster characters... Based on your gangster characters? What do you mean? Gangster? Like, a lot of characters I've seen you play, and at least what I see, are gangsters. He claims that the characters you play are gangsters. <laughs> I play good guys once in a while. Not, <laughs> I wish there were more good guys, but... You know, uh, that, that's a good question, because um, it seems like I do do a lot of evil guys for some reason or another. <laughs> I don't know why, you know, it's, uh, but it's fun. Did you realize that it's more fun to do evil characters and for you people to look at evil characters, you know? B why? Because uh, evil characters can do things that you cannot do in real life most of the time, unless you are killers and murderers and rapists out there. <laughs> yes, I see a few of them. Uh, yeah, I see a few raise of hands here. <laughs> But uh, it's true. In, in a sense, um, um, I, I grew up in Minneapolis, Minnesota, and I was very shy. And, you know, there was um, uh, no Chinese there at all in Minnesota. <laughs> uh, and it's all, in fact, for a while, uh, I thought I was Swedish. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Yeah, sure, I'm, I'm Swedish. 
My name is Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> James Hansen. I used to eat smorgasbord every day. Yeah. It was so wonderful to be in Minneapolis. In, the, in fact, this weather reminds me of Minneapolis, so cold and snows all the time, you know. So I, I, I was very lonely in Minnesota, and um, uh, so that's how I started voiceovers and, uh, and whatnot. But, um, and, and then I started, when you do voices in front of the mirror, uh, do you do voices for yourself in front of the mirror? Oh, what kind of, let me hear a sample of what you do in your, <laughs> in your bathtub. <laughs> Um, well, I can do one of the characters from South Park. Cartman. South Park? You can do Cartman from South Park? Yeah. All right. Kenny, get your, Kenny, your poor Kenny. Get out of here, Kenny. <laughs> That's great. Very good. You, you should uh, go to Hollywood. <laughs> you, know, the, you know, if you're good in voice, um, somehow you should get started because, you know, you never can tell. Uh, like I say, I used to do it in my uh, privacy and the, uh, on the mirror. And when I went to Hollywood, I, I did a few voices <clears throat> for um, Groucho Marx. Most of you don't even. Do you know who Groucho Marx is? Yeah. That's a good one. Can you stand up and do a Groucho Marx? Here's a Groucho Marx. <laughs> that, come on out in the hallway there and do it. Do that walk of Groucho, okay, with your cigar. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. Well, I got a chance uh, one summer, and had never been on TV before, you know. So I, I did Groucho Marx, and yes, Groucho Marx, that's me. Yes, you, may, you bet your life. Now, if you answer this question, you can uh, drop dead. And then I did um, um, Jimmy Stewart. Well, uh, yes, uh, by golly, uh, every Christmas I, I, I want to jump off the bridge. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, well, I, 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 I'll be seeing you. Bye. And then I did um, uh, James Cagney on his show. <clears throat> All right, you, you dirty, dirty rats. <laughs> uh, All right. Ma, ma, ah, ma, rub my head, ma. Ah, that feels good, ma. Now rub my other head. <laughs> and then I did um, uh, Pete Laurie on his show. <clears throat> and this is Pete Laurie. <laughs> Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> I hate people. They bother me. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm going back to the Comic Con. <laughs> so from Minneapolis to uh, Hollywood, I did that on his show, and I got the second biggest fan mail ever in his show. And uh, I was offered uh, club dates in San Francisco, and I got an age, and all through that one show, things start to turn around. So I quit University of Minnesota, went to Hollywood, and finished in USC, and, uh, but in engineering, mind you. But the uh, Hollywood kept calling, so I uh, did movies in Hollywood, and, um, and uh, here I am with you people after 60 years. I'm here, this is my 60th year in show business. <laughs> The, prime, the one thing I want to know is, what was it like working on the sand pebbles? What? On the sand pebbles? What was it like working on the sand pebbles? Oh, my gosh, you've seen all the movies, huh? He has. <laughs> that one's my pebbles, favorite. Yeah. That, that was my chance to work with two great people. Robert Wise, uh, director of Sound and Music, and then uh, Sand Pebbles also. And then Steve McQueen, right? Yeah. And Richard Attenborough, who became a very famous actor and director. Um, it, it was just, you know, looking back, it's just, you can't even believe that you work with Steve McQueen and uh, Robert Wise and uh, 
and uh, Blade Runner, Ridley Scott, and, and you know, Harrison Ford, and John Wayne I work with, and it, you know, about probably 100 uh, actors and, and uh, directors and producers. Uh, and all through these TV series, like Big Bang Theories, when they were just beginning. How many here look at Big Bang Theories? Wow, everybody, in a way, almost. So, except for this guy, he didn't raise his hand. Uh, <laughs> you didn't, you, do you watch, you watch, yeah. So, and they don't call me back, I just did two episodes, you know, terrible. <laughs> but I still have to, believe it or not, after 500 roles and movies and TV, they still, I still have to go out for auditions for a two line role, you know, <laughs> it's terrible. It's, uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to maybe uh, doing more movies, I hope as long as you people want me to. If you could do any movie or that you want to do or that you don't want to do, which one would you want to do and which one would you not want to do? If you could do any movie, which one would you want to do? Well, that I think something I want to do. Yes. You're a smart guy, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Well, that's true. That's a good question, you know. Um, I, I would like to, like somebody said here, um, I, I would like to be a real good guy for a change. <laughs> you know, I like to be a, a, an executive, you know, who owns a, a Microsoft or something, you know. <laughs> I never get to play those big executives. I, I kind of like to do that, uh, at, at least act like I own $5 billion, you know. <laughs> what role would you like to see me play? I really don't know. Just <laughs> yeah. Anything would anything you with you in it makes it better. Yeah. Anything you're in makes it better. That's that's really Thank you. Thank you're so nice. I love this little boy. You're so cute. Thank you. Hi, James. Hi. Um. So speak loudly. We we acted with you the other day in a scene at a fruit stand, and then we were lucky enough. Um, James taught us some dance moves afterward, and we were wondering if you could show everyone the, the dance moves that you, you showed us. Uh, before you tell me, um, uh, are you two available for, uh, I heard 6th Street tonight, is that? <laughs> uh, uh, are you available? Perhaps. Perhaps? Wow. We'll talk. So she's very smart. Can you, da can you dance? We want you to dance. Okay, let's go down and dance. Are you ready? Yeah. We want you to dance. Yeah, wait a minute, let's see. Can somebody here mimic a, uh, the, the DJ type of sound? Anybody that can do? Anybody? Who? Who? She can do it. Oh, can you? Oh, okay. can you give her the mic? Oh, yeah, give her the mic. You can just oh, take yeah, it right take out. Take it off the stand actually, there, yeah. somebody. Yeah. There you go. Let Good. me hear go a sample girl. first. <laughs> Hey, that is terrific, but real loud, okay? And everybody uh, that applauds with her or chime in, okay? Oh, yeah. Wait a minute, wait until I'm, I'm down there, okay? Then really give it to me. Boom! Okay. Are you ready to do your big debut? Your big rap debut? Chicka boom, chicka boom. Yeah, let's make it happen. And everybody would clap. All right. You can go right over there. The mic will go there. Looks like you, yeah, you get to do dancing, girls. Come on. Let's make it happen. Woo, let's give up a hand, everybody. Got to encourage everybody. Ready, disc jockey? We're going to clap our hands, everybody. Do, do, do. Go James, go James, go James, go James, <laughs> go James, go James. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Go James, go James, go James. Oh my gosh, this is fantastic. 
Oh, he's giving you the bob. Woo! That was fantastic. That was so good. Every time I do a show with James, it is like amazingly okay. fun. So that almost wraps it. Um, so we'll <laughs> see you at six Street tonight, right? Everybody. Maybe we should form a little party of some kind. I think we should. Yeah. It'd be fun. Wouldn't Is it be good? Yeah. We, we, have, we have about 10 minutes left. Would you like yeah. to party with okay. these people? Yeah. Hey, you know what I wanted to ask, if I could? I yeah. wanted to ask about when you were an engineer. What about it? That you were an engineer, and I, I think a lot of people don't know that, and how you ended up going from well, that I to I don't acting. know how many did not know I was an engineer. Isn't it funny? You just assume I went to Hollywood, right? <laughs> well, um, <clears throat> went to uh, University of Minnesota for about three and a half years, went in the Army, came out, and uh, then went to uh, Hollywood <laughs> one summer. Well, and then I did the Boucher Mark show, and then I decided to stay. So I, st I finished at USC for my last year. Graduated as a civil engineer to build roads for L.A. County. So some of the roads that you travel on in L.A. are made by me. <laughs> I didn't like straight roads. I bent them like this. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was a good time. But, it, but, you know, I was there just drawing lines all the time. And it got kind of boring. So uh, my mind was always on being an actor, you know, so like some of you are, I'm sure. Who wants to be an actor if they can? What do you do? Do you sing too besides? Uh, can I hear a little? Uh, uh, take your time and think for a second, okay? okay. Then face the audience and give me your best hit. Uh, Ready? Okay. Um, Whatever you can do. Can somebody help her with something? What do you like to sing? Oh, uh, the, the, the boy in back of you will help you. Oh. <laughs> oh, so. <laughs> I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Can he help? Can you help her sing something? Oh, happy birthday is a good suggestion. Can we do happy birthday? No, I want some rock song. <laughs> you know, like. Uh, Pour some sugar on me? No, it's probably not a good idea. Oh, you got one? Let him uh, help, help, help you then. Oh, she has it in the mic. Oh, don't go, don't go, don't oh, go. I think she's done. Sing with him then, okay? Go ahead. You'll be his backup? Actually, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no, so no, you're a shy no cowboy. No takers, no takers, James. I don't think they're doing it, so. Okay. Did you oh, have a question, though? Question. Yeah. Um, how was it like working on the ant farm set? What was it like working on Ant Farm on the set? Oh, oh, you saw that Ant Farm with the fortune cookie. Are you the only one who saw that episode? That's no, a, no, we all did. did. Anybody saw that episode when I was in the factory? Oh, you saw it? That's good. That's good. I'm glad somebody saw it. Um, I have one picture of that only here, by the way. Um, it, to me, it was very stimulating to work with people you know, not much older than you are and so talented. Both of those leading uh, girls are just really good, aren't they? And they're grown up now. I think they have they quit the series yet or not? No, um, they're talking to the microphone. Oh, there's still more series there, um, but they went to a different school, and it's called Z. -Town. Face the audience, then talk so they can hear. Which this way or that? Yeah, yeah, that way. yeah that's right. Face yeah, the audience. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, there's they went to Z Tech, and it's this. Um, it's where this guy's a millionaire, and they have all these Z phones, and then they just walk around the school, and they have their own rooms. I seriously, I, I don't get it, but they just moved to a different school. And, <laughs> I mean, I can't. Um, I watch too much. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That's very good. That's Let's great. give it a chance. Yeah. No, don't go. Yeah, that's good. You know, I, I think she definitely have a chance in Hollywood, really. You should give it a try. One more question? You, sir, yes, sir. You, yes, sir, you, sir, I should say. What is your favorite science fiction character? 
What's your favorite science fiction oh, character? Oh, I don't think he's going to sing. Are you going to sing? No? Can you sing? Are you going to sing? I thought you were going to sing for us. <laughs> no, he's not singing. <laughs> I, can sing. I can sing, okay? Oh, you can? But I you're. Know so I, I know songs real well. I did when I was five. What? He wants to sing a song. Do you want to sing it? You know, uh, when you grow up, uh, uh, you know, you have to say what you want with the girls. You can't what? hem and haul, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how we went from Right, guys, that, you have to but... say what you want. <laughs> okay, what does he he's going to do now? So what, what's your favorite science fiction character? Is that the right question? Because mm -hmm. I forgot in all the excitement. Yeah, well, uh, actually, my favorite role uh, um, would be Big Trouble Little China. I, I think that has to be... <laughs> Yeah, we work day and night on the movie. As you can see, we put so much work into it, you know. I slept in the, the dressing room trailer um, because it, in the beginning, believe it or not, the first day of makeup uh, in, into that old, old man um, on the wheelchair, it took Steve Johnson, the original makeup man. Um, in those days, what, nothing was digital. It had to be hair by hair you put it on. And he took 10 hours to do that old man makeup. And I had to sleep on the, uh, or at least stay on the barber chair while he did all that makeup. It, it's amazing. And now he, uh, back a few years, he kind of dropped out a little bit, but he became huge makeup man in Hollywood. How many have heard of Steve Johnson, the makeup? Well, some of you have, yeah. Great, great makeup person, isn't he? He makes terrific monsters. But now those days are kind of gone because everything's done by digital. And now I go into the studio and they just put a couple of dots on me here and there. And uh, they put it in afterwards, see? But Steve put on every little bump, a little hair. That's why it took him so long. Uh, what was the question in the favorite role? Okay, so, the, so the, from the old man of, uh, you know, um, you have better tell me the truth. I will skin you alive and boil you in oil here. You're not put on this earth to get it, Mr. Burton. <laughs> Thank you. Unfortunately, our time is up, and I wanted to say, as always, you are a tremendous pleasure. What a talent, a true Hollywood icon. I, I can't believe I'm so honored to sit here with you. Thank you. We're all honored to, to have James Hong here today. Let's give him a huge round of applause, Austin. Thank you so much.